invited and to be black again. <laughs> In the city of New Haven, to have an opportunity to speak on this timely subject that you have chosen as the theme for this month. I understand it's going to be Revolution 101, 102, and 103. You have Dr. Clark coming in for Revolution 102, and you have Brother Steve and Dr. Steve Copley coming in for Revolution 103. And so the subject tonight is Revolution 101, kill or be killed. What a subject. <laughs> My son and I were all the way out west. He had to come from Las Vegas and from, we weren't playing that stuff. I don't play slow horses and fast women, <laughs> slot machines and stuff, magical wheels and deals and stuff. No, it was business for the revolution. Come in from Vegas and from Meet Me in Los Angeles, and then from Los Angeles we connected. Then we flew into JFK. When we landed in JFK, we really didn't know how to hell we were going to get to New Haven. We landed in JFK. We thought we were going to have to catch a bus or a taxi to, to uh, Grand Central, and then from Grand Central catch either the Metro Line or Amtrak. But it turned out that there was a bus called the Connecticut Limousine out front. They were ready to go, but we weren't going to let them go without us. So we just bum rushed the bus, <laughs> took over the bus, insisted that they not leave until we got all our bags and jumped on that bus. And then from there, we rode, you can imagine, until we finally got to the bus station. And from the bus station, we caught a taxi. And from the taxi, our good brother came on the camera here to rescue us and bring us here. So with a subject like this, we would have been here if we had to walk. Revolution 101. Kill or be killed. The most honorable Elijah Muhammad and the honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan teach us that there is a direct relationship between light and revolution. That there is a direct relationship, so teach Elijah and Farrakhan, between light and revolution. There can be no revolution unless there is light. Light is the basis for revolution. Light is indeed the basis for movement. No light no movement. It is the light in the universe, the magnificent and marvelous rays of the sun that reach out through the darkness of space and touch the close planet Mercury to the sun, and reach out through the darkness of space and touch the most distant planet from the sun, Pluto, four billion six hundred million miles. But it's the rays of the sun that strike those planets at their imaginary equator and cause them to spin and bow and move and rotate, traveling Earth at the terrific speed of 1,037 and a third miles per hour. But no light, no movement. No light, no revolving. No light. No revolution. We can have no revolution unless we have knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Supreme knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. It must be a knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that is supreme to the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the pepper woman, of the cracker, of the hunky, of the white man, of the devil. If you didn't want me to call in all those names, you shouldn't invite me. And if you invite me, I'm going to seize the opportunity to use this and to use the power that God... 
Well, this is my son, Paul. Oh, no. 